Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Texas Southern Tigers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Boilermakers are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First of all, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Third, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Tries for two. And off the mark. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He pulls the trigger. Sinks it. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. Number 33, pump fakes. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Now try to feed the low block. Leans in. Williams was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He unloads, way off target. Gave it up. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The small forward gets the ball. Knocks it down. They go into the low block. The center with the ball. You see it time and time again, star players make plays. Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nestle. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Down inside. Strips the ball. The ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work the perimeter. Mitchell in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He's going to see this guy in sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. up strong and that's going to be an offensive foul oh great call by the official he beat him to the spot that's essential defensively oh, 
looking for a good shot. The shooting guard takes the feed. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the arc. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. On the dribble, gives it up, goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turns it over. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. As the fans chant. It really is something, isn't it? Trying to draw the foul. Scorches the net. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 50 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. Misses the free one. He attempts the three, drains it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Intercepted. There's a spot. The shot. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's take another look. The power forward gets the pass. They say forget about him. Then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The center takes the pass. He fires from long range. That was nice. Here's a double team. Perfectly executed. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up and inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills the long-range bomb. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts you can play halfway. He makes the block. Working it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Launches the three. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every place. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. 
Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. And he missed. On the top of the circle. Makes it. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. Gave it up for two. And off the mark. Harvey is fired up right now emotional. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Stolen away. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. High close screen. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's just the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. Problem with that, when you front and you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Dump it inside. Moving it around the perimeter. Turnover. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. They're pushing that basketball, help one another to communicate. perimeter from beyond the arc there was no doubt about that one that's a 7-0 run he goes for three off the rim and no good with anticipation defensively he gets that one to fall Picks off the pass. He tries to knock down the three. Tickles a twine. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. For the bucket, perfectly executed. you got to let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They are heat 
lighten up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that so we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from downtown. You betcha. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And a momentary look from three-point land. Perfectly executed. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Kept alive. He shoots from long range. Way off target. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. There's the trap. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets the bucket to fall. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There they come with a double team to stop it. He dials long distance. Pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 14 goes to the line, shooting two. He makes the first. Well, the arc looked good. Gets the rebound. Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. This is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Off the rim and no good.
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. High post flasher is open. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. Drains the shot. We'll get a better look on the replay. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. When you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Stolen away. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Texas Southern. They have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Takes away the pass. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And it's Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Number 14 makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the free throw line. Makes it. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Schaefer goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. Free throws go. Oh, what a hard screen there. Foul charge. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stump. A little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Simpson draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. Shot clock is dead. They'll work it around the arc. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Basic. And the jam. From the top of the key, makes the shot. At the 
the end of the first half. The Boilermakers are up by four. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Purdue shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Goes in. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dumps it in. The power forward handles the feed. Perfectly executed. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time storm. Number 33 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Gets it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. He looks for the bomb. Purdue are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Fake. Gave it up. Mitchell handles the pass. He goes for three. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Ball handler might be in trouble here. That's a great defensive effort being all over the ball. They get the five-second call. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. In the paint. There he is, puts the ball loose. On the outside. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. In the paint, there's a double team waiting there. From the top of the key, he shows the sweet touch. Strips 
the ball. Leans in. The lay. For the deuce. Easy one. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. In the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. And hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Kicks it out. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Picked off. Pushes it. He takes the three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He throws it up from downtown. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's good. it inside and he tried. that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the D I love it he intercepts it this should be an easy two working it around the perimeter from the baseline they'll bring it out on top whistling for the foul you start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Both shots no good. But inside. Gave it up. Puts up the tray. Sinks it. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get fifth. And the shot blocks. That was intimidation city. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Off the rim and no good. Schaefer receives the pass. Looks at a three. 
We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Rims out. Passes out. Wants to get better post position. Great shot. The Boilermakers are ahead by 19. Double team now. Bad angle. Robs him of the ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Steals the pass. Dump it inside. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. They're going to move it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. Fakes the shot. Looking for a good shot. Shot rejected. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. We get ready to bounce back into action here. This defense really showing that they're not afraid to get physical. Hey, they're making them sweat on offense by taking chances, Brad. The three balls had a better start flying, baby, because this one's almost over. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense... Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. They'll work it around the arc. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. It's stolen. Here they go into transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Pushes it up. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores it off the glass. He gets the rejection. Comes up empty. For two. Good. Picks off the pass. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? They work the perimeter. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the free throw. He misses the first shot. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. The Boilermakers are up by 27.
Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Picks off the pass. Shoots it. Gets it to go. Sometimes you got to take that whipping, Brad. Well, the D certainly is tonight. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. High post flashes for the opportunity. Now they work it around the perimeter. Schaefer receives the ball. Shoots. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Gave it up. Picked off. Pushes it up. Up and inside. Takes away the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They work it around the perimeter. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. Takes the pass in the paint. For the bucket. Takes the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Great defense. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Steal. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Easy one. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. It sticks. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Simpson got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brian. He goes as far to the rack as anybody out there. They will line him up. Gets it. Tries for two. The layup is good. There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 14 takes the pass in the paint. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. He's 
squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. From way outside, he buries it. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. There they come with a double team to stop it. He intercepts it. For the deuce. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steal. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. It. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essentially the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Step out on that screener. Drops the bucket despite the harm. for three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Launches the bomb. Way off target. From left of the circle, he shows the sweet touch. This moment's brought to you by our friends at State Farm. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. Here's a double team. For two. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Stolen. Puts up a prayer. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Purdue is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.